So we're going to look at an alternative means of placing um, or doing implementing hashing, right? Um, placing a key into or, or mapping a key into a particular position within an array. So you should see the earlier video. This is just the, 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 the follow up to the prior video that introduced probing and linear probing and some of the basic ideas of what we're doing here. In that earlier video, I did mention that um, the 27, 51, 69 could be maybe social security numbers that are part of a student object, for example. And we want to map that into an array. So if we only have five or six items, we, we might simply need an array of size 11. So we have a simple, simple um, hash function and it tells us that the array or the table size is of size 11 which means my table or my array will have indices going from 0 to 10. Um, so that means then that when I do something like 27 mod 11 since 27 divided by 11 is 2 with a remainder of 5 we get that there. Since 51 divided by 11 is 4 with the remainder of 7, we get that there. And so we can um, kind of continue on getting the rest of these values by doing the division and uh, getting the remainder that's, that goes along with that. Now, that is going to get us into an array right there into those particular positions. But notice that if 51 maps into position 7, 38 into position 5, but 62 also maps into position 7. So 38 going into 5 and 27 going into 5, that would be a collision. 51 going into 7 and 52, 62 rather, 51 into 7 and 62 into 7 are both collisions. So we're going to have to resolve those collisions. And so we're going to use a second hash function to do that. And that is we're going to take the mod 9 of our key and add 1 to it. And I'll show you why we would want to do an add 9. Um, so this second hash function first will do the modulus. And, um, and then from there, we're going to add 1 to that value. And we're going to do a modulus on the key. So 27 mod 9 is a 3 with a remainder of 0. So we put that remainder there. 51 mod 9 is 9 goes into 51. Uh, four, that's a 5 with a remainder of 6. And then um, after I've done each one of those, I will add 1 to that value just to the left. So now that we've completed our second hash function um, calculations, we can use that when there's a collision. Um, and I'd also like to think of this second hash function as really more of a kind of a skip value. It tells you how many hops we're going to do if there is a collision. So let's draw the table and then get started placing our keys into the table. Okay, so we have our table drawn. Again, noting that we're using mod 11, that modulus value underneath is indeed the size of the table. It's 11 items, so we use indices 0 through 10. Let's start putting our values in. So we have a 27. That 27 maps to position 5 using the first hash function. So 27 maps into position 5. 51 maps into position 7. 69 maps into position 3. 26 maps into position 4. 38 maps into position 5. And so that is our first collision here. We're trying to put 38 into position 5 and it's occupied. So what we're going to do then is go to our um, second hash function and use the 3.
So that 3 essentially tells us how many values to kind of hop over. So we're at 27, uh, we're at position 5, and we're trying to put in a 38. So it says use 3. So we go 1, 2, 3. And so 38 goes there. Now, 62 says go into position 7. So 7 is occupied. So 62, um, it, it looks like we have to use our second hash function, which is a skip number of 9. So we're, we're going to increment this by 9, but we're actually incrementing it um, by 9 right but it's also a modulus when we add 9 to it we're going to do a modulus um, so that we end up wrapping around the table so um, so 62 should go into position 7 so we try to add 9 that goes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 still occupied do it again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, occupied. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So our 62 ends up going right here. So let's clean that up a bit. And then let's do the same thing. We'll finish this up looking at um, 73. 73 maps to uh, position 7. There's a collision, so we use the second hash function, which is value of 2. So 73 ends up going right here. So we had those collisions there. And then we used our second hash value um, to tell us how many to kind of skip through. Now notice that had we ever ended up with a hash value that was a zero, if I got a collision, I'm skipping zero and I would get stuck here. So you'll always have to have at least one for your hash function. So that's why the plus one was added to guarantee um, that we start our probing.